okay? Don't bite the hand that feeds you and you'll be okay. Before I get into the intro, I just want to quickly say that, you know, Nene said a lot of things when Kenya Moore wasn't on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the season that Kenya Moore quit, that matches every single thing that has happened to her. But I want to focus on this video and this video alone. So we will revisit those things. But there was one thing that she hopped on Instagram live and she said, and you just heard it, never bite the hands that feed you. And she also posted about it on her Instagram page. And Nene completely chewed off, not bite, but chewed off the hand that's been feeding her all of this time, which is Bravo. She realized that, you know what, let me not sue these people and bow out gracefully and hopefully one day i can come back so that's how she left you know the way that she did with that video and being pleasant and some of those people at bravo had a response after nene leaks video so let's go ahead and get into those positive responses We're also going to get into why kenya moore was trending even though nene is the one that um it's no longer there. <laughs> Let's get into it. What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment News. Nene has stepped off her throne and she will truly be missed. Head over to our link in bio, okay, he's in a peach, to learn more about Nene Leaks. Red House of Atlanta rain coming to an end. Bloop. At first, they wrote the queen. Okay, and then they replaced it with this right here. And a few people noticed that and called them out on it. Like, I thought she was your queen. What made you change it? And he also posted, and I'm going to summarize most of these, okay? He talked about Nene being an icon. He talked about her catchphrases and Nene being a catchphrase machine. In 11 years of Watch What Happens Live, Nene has been our most frequent guest and she is always a blast nini nicknamed me buttercup the first day we met and still calls me that today not sir she calls you him somebody who's been here since the beginning you know it's funny how um i have all these text messages and emails about you built the real housewives of atlanta you know of course it's been tweeted by so-and-so before uh yeah him um <laughs> through her whole run she has always had a serious concern and drive to maintain the success and well-being of rare house for valenza i am going to miss nini on the show but i'm hoping we work together again soon and will remain in each other's orbit forever xo buttercup bloop Low down monkey with wig, close your legs to marry man. All right, we see each other. I said what I said. The Irish guy check, buy wig, so nasty and so rude, buttercup. Some people had an issue that Andy posted the hashtag monkey with a wig, even though he didn't say it, and he's simply repeating the things that Nini said. People just felt like, first of all, it was in poor taste for Nini to say that, yes, she's black, but to another black woman um and then for you know massa to repost it call it a reach or whatever i'm just reporting what people had to say but that's what andy wrote so then nini took to her instagram to repost messages from some of the cast members milo posted on her instagram the blueprint fire emoji she tagged nini leaks and a kissy face emoji so that was milo's post Mariah from Married to Medicine. Furthermore, you are a mother, a wife, a queen, an entrepreneur, and a trailblazer and an icon for this generation. Your greatness may have been introduced through the reality genre as the first, but your talent has definitely broken down doors across every genre, and I can't wait to see what's next. Snaps and screams, yes! Mariah, Bethany Franco, good luck, boo, Portia Williams, 
crying emoji on the reel while your video made me tear up. Thank you for everything you have done and the ground you ladder that I and many others walk on. <laughs> My life has been so hard without you. <laughs> it's about to be hard without her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Portia have moved right on, okay? Anyways, uh, Cynthia Bailey, Nene Leaks. You were heavy on my spirit today. I just want you to know that I wish you a lifetime of love, peace, and happiness. You are so deserving of it all. I am excited to see all the amazing things that God has put in place for you as your incredible journey continues. Continue to soar, beautiful black queen. You are you and that is your power. Originally you and never to be duplicated. May God continue to bless you and your family. Always Cynthia, heart emoji. Oh, that's sweet. Um, Ashley from the Real House of Epidemic. Thank you for setting the tone for women of color to have a strong voice on Bravo. You really will always be a legend no matter what you choose to do from here on out. Tanya Sims, Penny. Okay, Tanya Sims saying that she missed Nini already, posting a few pics to honor you and commemorate all that you have done to Trailblaze for me and so many on the show. So many have watched and tuned into Red House of Atlanta for years to watch you laugh, slay, and turn up. And now I pray the universe brings you bigger and better adventures. Go ahead and read the rest, okay? How you miss Nini after how she used to treat you. Wow. Growth and friendship is what she wrote. Yet, you went and lied on a woman who was truly trying to be a friend to you for a storyline. But you know what? We're going to focus on Nene departure and not on what this lady did to Kenya Moore and the lies. Okay? If you've missed all of my videos, just go to the Red House Rough Atlanta playlist and you will see all of the videos that I did on Tanya and exposing her for the liar that she is but let's focus okay because when it comes to other people let's make excuses and say oh growth and friendship but you're the same woman that intentionally that not only the lie at the table in Toronto that that wasn't enough for your storyline to then turn around and lie and say that she talked down to you about IVF when she herself went through IVF to have a daughter. But you know what? I've already had this conversation, so let's move on. She would treat you just as bad, if not worse, in the seasons to come. You can grow, but she will always be low, down, and dirty. Well, she's not there anymore, but I get what this person is saying in the seasons to come. Because the way how she left, there's always room for her to return. You never know with Bravo, okay? We've seen it all the times. The show is going to be over now. Nobody wants to watch Kenya. <laughs> Under a Nini and Tanya post, there goes Kenya's name. Like, ooh, her power. She is such a queen. Like, this woman is shouting at her friend, you know, because her friend got fired, even though she said she left. But no, let's go ahead and drag Kenya. Like, Kenya Moore is on your mind on the Anini and Tanya post. Shouldn't you be posting about your fave or favorite and, you know, telling Tanya thank you? But you have to drag Kenya name. That's how you know Kenya is powerful. This person responded, first of all, Nini has left before, okay? For two seasons, the ratings did not change, and one of the seasons was better ratings than when she was there. The show don't need Nini, which is true, because the season that Kenya Moore wasn't there was one of their lowest seasons ever as it relates to ratings. So as I said in the previous video that Kenya Moore was trending because when Nene Leakes announced her departure, of course you had people on there giving Nene her props, but then they were also like, you know, we're not going to front that Kenya Moore, you know, bent that girl and basically need a lifetime 
gift certificate, like free massage, <laughs> massages and all of that. Because like I've said over and over again, she's been carrying that show on her back, okay? So that's why Kenya Moore was trending because people were just saying, yeah, we're gonna miss Nene, but like I just read in the comments, she left before and the show was just fine and the show will be fine. So that's that. Also, before I talk more about Kenya and any Leaks fans saying things like, oh, you know, even Cynthia put her differences aside, but the witch Kenya couldn't. And I'm just like, oh, so Nene put her differences aside when Kenya quit the show? Or Nene started interviews making these faces when the interviewer said that he liked Kenya more. Don't come for me. I know everyone. So do you miss any of the old girls? Uh, I miss some of the old On girls. Atlanta Housewives. On Atlanta Housewives. Now, who do you I miss? miss? Some of the, uh, I feel like you're going to get mad at me if I say no, it. No, I don't care. Honestly. No, I don't. I, honestly, this is a real question. As a fan of the show, I was sad not to be able to see Kenya's story this season. Okay. I also miss... Child, go back and play that if you want. Did you see the look on her face when he said he missed Kenya Moore? Or Nene saying that that season that Kenya Moore wasn't on was her favorite season ever because the dark cloud wasn't there. And then how would you describe the season of Atlanta? Like what stands out from other seasons? How would you pack it into like... So I have to say it's my favorite season. I'm going through a lot of things. But it's my, one of my favorite seasons because there's a lot of sisterhood. There's not as much negativity. We've had a lot of negativity over the years. And it's not, it's, it's just not that way. I, we really have a lot of sisterhood. We do have drama, but we have a lot of sisterhood and, and the sisterhood is very much needed. So, yeah. This is the season where Candy and Portia went at it, okay? and other major things happened. So they had some serious drama, okay? It wasn't all about sisterhood. You know, we watched the show. We saw the same thing that we've seen every season. So she was just saying all of that to shade Kenya. Cause let me give you a few examples of sisterhood. Sisterhood, like she said in last season. When the girls went and did the who was the dodgeball, Kenya even got along with Milo. Nene wasn't there. That was the sisterhood moment. There was no arguing, no nothing. At the end of it, you know, Portia tried and Kenya basically paid her dust because it was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful moment. We saw, you know, basically when they went to Greece and they had to pick their rooms, they all have fun, laugh. That was a beautiful sisterhood moment. There was no arguing or nothing. They played a game, they picked their room, and then they moved on. On the beach, okay, they had those activities. There was no argument on the beach. They all went there, Nene included, and everybody was well behaved and professional, did their job, and then everyone left. Now, they also did have other moments where we saw the arguments and things like that so it doesn't matter who's there or who's not there they always have amazing moments of sisterhood and then moments where it's reality tv people want the drama so this whole thing about oh kenya wasn't there so we didn't have negativity how do you say you didn't have negativity but then in the same breath turn around and say we did have drama drama is negativity Okay, she tried so hard to make it look like we are doing great, we're getting along, the season is great, and why? Mm -hmm. Because Kenya is not here when that's not true. Candy and Portia were going at it because that's when Candy tried to warn Portia that she was moving too fast with Dennis. It was filled with drama. <laughs> And that still didn't help the ratings, but let's continue. Or Nene going crazy on social media all because Kenya didn't invite her to her baby shower. Like, why would I invite you to my baby shower when you said that I wasn't pregnant? And further proof Kenya point when she hit below the belt and said that Kenya is not Brooklyn's mother. 
you know so they keep proving Kenya's point that they just simply hate her and over time they're exposed and Nene exposed herself or you know basically being sarcastic and harassing everybody that went to the shower these are all of the messages most of them on social media or doing an ask Nene on Twitter just to be able to pick questions of Kenya Moore and talk about her some more. So I really want to find out where was Nene differences when this pregnant woman quit because like I said in the previous video, Bravo was upset that she refused to allow them to exploit her wedding and so they reduced her salary and she said I know my work and also too I need to basically just focus on getting Brooklyn here healthy so she quit I didn't see Nene posting no amazing message to Kenya instead she went on I hate Kenya more tour and she's awake in the dark cloud so then why should Kenya post anything about her like also Candy didn't say anything because Kenny is the mean one that was basically about to break Kenya arm to bow down to Nene when Kenya, when Kenya was basically saying, this woman have shown me who she is. I'm good. We don't have to be friends. We work together. I'm going to be professional, but that's it. But then they didn't need to turn around. And Candy also extended herself to Nini. We have camera time. And then what did Nini do in return to Candy to say thank you? Uh, drag her all over social media. Now referring to Candy as Terry Crews. We have a, a Terry Crews on our cast. And um, I'll let you guys figure out who that is. Terry Crews needs to stop. Stop Terry Crews. Miss Crews. Okay, stop girl. You are not a leader. In the whole Terry Crews thing, she's talking about Candy. She said there's somebody on our cast, not in the franchise, on our cast, okay? And then she said you ain't no leader. Kenny is the only one currently on the Red House of Atlanta cast with so much pulled over there at Bravo. Go to the Red House of Atlanta playlist and watch all of those videos because if I keep including clips, these videos will be an hour long or 30 minutes and I'm not trying to keep posting long videos. You know, Kenny alone and Candy. They didn't say nothing either. I didn't see her trending. You know, Kenya will always be the trendy topic because like I said, Kenya even breed and she makes the news. Lastly, no one is denying Nene Leak's impact on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. We will never do that. And you know what? I normally don't share my DMs, but, and so for those of you who send me DMs, don't worry. I'm not going to put your messages on blast. I did reach out to this person and I was given permission to share this, but I did remove their name just to protect them. Okay. This is from Instagram. She sent me a video of Nene Leak's farewell interview. Okay. And and it was just really early I watched the video but I was like okay can we move on I already got one more video to talk about Nene on YouTube I'm not trying to talk about her on Instagram right just all jokes not being serious and so I completely ignore the video and the topic you know responding with the topic and I simply wrote back to her good morning sis wishing you an amazing day okay and then L she responded lol Okay, and then she said, I didn't even watch it, meaning the video she sent me. I don't understand why they making a big deal about it, child. And I responded, it is a big deal. I might not be here for her, but let's not front that she's not an OG. One thing about me, I'll always be fair. Okay, and then she responded, I wish you would come to the dark side and say bleep that moves, laughing face emoji. I responded, a black woman came on and changed the game on that show. She allowed it to get to her head and that's why we're here now, LL, but she did do an amazing job. So there you go. This is not, oh my God, we don't like Nene because I rock with Kenya more. Now we do acknowledge that Nene did her thing, but then she changed and when she changed, and started looking down on people. People just got sick and tired of that Nene. Wishing all of you the best, and I'm also wishing Nene Leaks the best. Take care. The end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. 
also turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted and I will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the God bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys God bless you